Rack systems are exciting. Everybody is trying out Rack, retrieval augmented generation. Everybody is trying out Gen AI, and they're getting a lot of success in their proof of concepts and pilots. And that is really exciting the teams, and they want to take it to production. But that's when they realize how complicated it is to take a Gen AI system to production. We are facing a lot of these challenges when we work with clients, and they come to us after having tried many, many out of the box Rack solutions, whether it be from hyperscalers or startups, and they come to us and say. uh you know our pet all these out of the box systems are great we are able to excite the board we are able to get the budgets but then we are not able to move to productions because building this system in production is hard it is extremely difficult to scale it is expensive and it doesn't cover a lot of the scenarios and today i'm going to show you what we are building as part of elastic discover where we address many of those scenarios so here you can see i have set up a demo environment with elastic discover to this demo environment i have given it access to a bunch of quarterly earning reports from top 50 companies in america and i'm going to start with asking some basic questions so the first question that i ask is what is google's revenue for this quarter and how has that changed from the same quarter last year Now this is not a very complex question a lot of the systems are able to answer this right now but let's look at what we are able to do with discover right so we are able to answer google's revenue for this quarter is 86 billion dollars and the same quarter last year was 76 billion dollars now if you see the source it tells you where it got the information from so it got the information from this file and it says page number 1 and so on so if i open this file you will see that it's a pretty complex file this is the quarterly earnings report from google from that particular quarter and here is the answer right revenue and whatever is the revenue so you can see here it says 86 billion dollars 76 billion dollar but one of the things to note is here it says 86000 and here it says 76000 but over in your answer it says 86000 million and 76000 million now we are able to figure out from the context of the document that we are talking about millions here and not really thousands So that's one of the capabilities of the system but then there are other things right so if you see that this is a pretty unstructured file there is a tabular data here but in the tabular data you will see that we have one column here and then we have two columns here then we have one column here and then we have two columns here and then these two column and the two columns on the next row they are not really aligned so it's a very messy unstructured document but we are able to figure out what the answer should be in such a unstructured document and get you the answer So now let's get into some of the more complex scenarios. So the next question that I ask is what are the top 5 companies that have had the highest year over year revenue growth? Now this is a question that no out of the box rack system can answer. And that is because if you remember what was our data? Our data was quarterly earning reports of top 50 companies in America. Now these are individual company reports. None of those reports have the information about what are the top 5 companies that have had the highest year over year revenue growth right and how do rag systems work they work based on retrieval of the information and then formulating your answer based on the shortlisted content out of all of your content but to be able to answer this question the way your system should be designed is you should understand all of the content so quarterly earning reports of all of the companies and from there you need to figure out and understand what is the revenue growth of each of the companies and then which are the top 5 companies by revenue growth so that's what we are able to do so from our data we are able to analyze all of the companies and then find out what are the top 5 companies in our data that have had the highest year over year revenue growth similarly i have another question here i ask which companies do not have a positive eps growth now this question is also complex and many many systems get it wrong probably a lot of systems get it wrong is because it has a negative condition do not have a positive revenue growth so it has a negative condition in the question now the reason why this is complex is because uh most of these systems work based on semantic similarity so they do a vector search to find out the retrieval part of rag and then once they figure out which are the chunks that are of interest it formulates the response based on that but if you think about it companies that have positive revenue growth and companies that do not have positive revenue growth these two sentences are semantically very similar in the english language and because of that if there is one thing mentioned in the document or the other the algorithm will probably get it wrong and if the retrieval is wrong it will probably hallucinate in the answer so this is another one of those things where a lot of the out of the box systems get it wrong or right, let me show you another example this is from another demo this is from a solution where i have loaded elastic discover with a bunch of airlines esg reports right so i am asking a question i am asking what is the gender distribution of ryanair by employee category so for this airline ryanair 
what is the gender distribution of staff by employee category, right? So I get the answer from the system. It says, here are the employee categories, PLC board, management, flight crew, cabin crew, and support team. And these are their gender distribution. So for PLC board, it is 36% female and the rest is male. And it says that it got the information from this data. So if I uh, see here, it says this report and page number 19. Let me go to the page number 19 and see what it presents. So you will see that it's a very complex report. So it's a very complex document. There is the structured data, unstructured data, there is text, images, infographics, charts and graphs and so on and so forth. And if I go to page number 19, you will see that the information is coming from this graph and it's a pretty complex graph if you think about it, right? So here it says gender diversity and here it presents the employee category, PLC board, management, flight crew, cabin crew, support team. And then it says, PLC board 36% with a yellow background, 64% with a blue background, right? Yellow background is female and blue background is male. So being able to understand that this is a graph where the information exists and then how to interpret this graph, it's a pretty complex uh, engineering in itself. And that's one of the things that we're solving. So imagine all the rag scenarios, whether it's a manufacturing company's product manual with complex diagrams, or a pharma life sciences kind of a you know technical document with diagrams in there or infographics graphs and charts in financial reports and other documents it is extremely important that you're able to understand how to process infographics and how to process graphs and charts and answer based on that so these are some of the challenges that we are solving with elastic discover on advanced rag and there's a lot more if you're interested let us know and we'll be happy to schedule a demo together thank you for listening please subscribe to the channel